Oh, hey everyone! Welcome to Character Education. My co-host, Sam, usually does all this stuff about how character education is the place comes to learn big ideas and all that. But to be honest, it's sort of boring. And I need your help for something else. See, Sam has been on his health kick lately, and he's totally into juicing, so I thought together we'd surprise him it's with some pineapple juice. So I got this right here. I had to get the apples. Sam is just so uptight, and he really needs to learn how to relax a little, you know? And so I got my cup right here. And unfortunately, I didn't have any pineapples on hand, but that can't stop me from helping out my good friend, Sam. Just get a lot, just got a little creative. See, I've got apples right here. And I got a couple pine cones right over here. I'm dropping them into the blender right there. Then I'm gonna close this. What could go wrong, right? This looks pretty good to me. This looks pretty good. Oh yeah! Let me see how this is looking. It looks pretty done to me. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It must be done. That is edible. Looks pretty good. Hmm. We got some juice in there. Looks pretty good. Now that is some good pineapple juice. I must say so myself. Oh, this isn't good. So, uh, the blender doesn't seem to be in its best state working. And it just happens to belong to Sam. Um, he can never know. What should I do? What should I say? Uh, I know. We can say that it was the principal. They wanted to give Sam a boost today, but he panicked when he busted Sam's blender and left to work on his morning. Announcements. Okay, that's it. Everyone got it? Will you back me up on this? Great. Now I'm gonna get out of here real quick, bef real quick before Sam... Hey guys, what's up? Sorry I'm late. What do you... Wait. Before Sam... Before Sam does what, Zach? What? Nothing, dude. Don't worry about it. Nothing. I Nothing. I was late because I couldn't find my blender. I was trying to, you know, you know my juice kick, right? And so I'm trying to get my blender and I had to... It works that? good. Zach? Uh, Zach, what's that? The principal. Uh, yes, that, it's, uh, uh... Is that... Is that... Why are there pine cones in my blender? What? Well, I didn't exactly see exactly, but someone here said that the, uh, principal was making you some, uh, pineapple juice. And just got a little carried away in it. Uh, they're, just broke. Their principal? They all saw it. You saw it, right? But why would... He probably knows you're going on a health kick. And juicing. Uh, I'm just trying to help. Okay. He just wanted to give you a nice tropical boost. I see. But then he probably realized he didn't have a pineapple, so he used pine cones and apples instead. Uh. So, you really seem inside the principal's head there, Zach. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, like, he's probably going to let me run the school next week. Uh, maybe you should practice a little then, right? Why don't you reveal our new big idea for this month, Zach? Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. Go um, for it. Um... Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Now, just the people like me who are really, really good at this. Integrity. 
Uh, integrity is, uh, choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Uh, um, my tummy hurts, I gotta go. <sighs> yep. That was definitely a little bit suspicious, and I don't know about you guys, but I think I know what happened, so I'm gonna go check on him and you guys check out this video. Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, I didn't know you guys were there. Um, I just showed up here and this was already broken. You know, I really don't, I really don't know what happened. And look, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, well, I mean, anyway, I'm glad to be back this month to visit with you guys again. I've missed you uh, since since last month. Uh, okay, oh, now where was I? Um, oh, okay. So this month we're talking about integrity. Okay, here's the truth. <laughs> Let's just talk about it. I mean, seriously, I, I was reading my text messages when I walked in here and I accidentally bumped into the table. This fell off and it broke. I, I, I said it, it broke. I didn't mean to do it, guys. I don't want anyone to find out because I'll probably get in trouble for not paying attention. But I know that hiding it and lying about it is not a good idea. I Me, mean, right? Sometimes when you get in certain situations, it seems like the only way out, you know, is, is to lie. But no matter what the situation is and how much you've told yourself that lying would make it better, I, you know, I promise you, it will always come back and bite you in the end. The consequences of dishonesty will always have a harmful effect on you and everyone around you. And even worse than all of that, when you start down the path of being dishonest, it begins to become really easy to tell a lie. There are moments like, like this one, when we can choose whether to have integrity or not. And when we're not truthful in a friendship or any kind of relationship, people lose trust in us. And when we lose trust with family or friends, we miss out on a lot. I mean, you see, integrity is not just about what we say. It's about what we do. Sometimes just opening your mouth and telling the truth can seem like the hardest thing you've ever done. I lied. I didn't brush my teeth, which, okay, you, you should. Or, you know, messed up. So it looks like I need to own up to my mistake. Now it's going to be tough, um, but I know that integrity is choosing uh, to be truthful in whatever you say and do. So I, I've, I've got to do it. So I'll go do this. You guys think about that and I'll see you next month. Hey there, I'm MC Haggis, and my beatboxing partner Seamus McFamous will be here any second. He's finishing up at Hall 11, the windmill. That's right, I turned my entire sheep shed into a mini golf course. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> mini golf. Huh? Oh, oh, there he is. Hey, say hi to him, Seamus. Hey. Yeah, that's right. This month we're learning about integrity, choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Ah. So, Seamus, I was up here and didn't see what you shot on hole 11. I shot a three. What did you shoot? A. A one? You, you shot a what? A. What? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so shocked. But up until now, you've, you've shot tens or even more on every single hole. And now you shoot a one I, on the wind. A hole in one. I. Oh, 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 well then. You should go first on this hole, my friend. That's right. I don't want to get in your way. You're in the zone now. So you go ahead and go. All right. Ooh, this is exciting. Yeah. Okay, just drop that anywhere. I'll just move it where you can actually hit it. Okay. All right, I can't wait to see this one. You know what, maybe you'll get another hole in one. Huh? Yeah, right. Mm. Ooh, I'll bet getting two holes in one in a row would be a course record. <laughs> oh, it may. Maybe it's the record in all of mini golf around all the world. <laughs> it's so great. I can't wait to see this. All right. Uh, what, what, what are you doing? Whoa, what are you doing, Seamus?
twelve. Hey. You changed it one to a twelve, hey. eh? Oh, the wind. Oh, because you really did shoot a twelve on hole eleven. Hey. Hey. Meal. hey. Well, Seamus, thank you for showing integrity. That took a lot of courage, my friend, and I think we should rap about it. Kick it! We can try to lie and cheat and be dishonest and try to sneak, but being that way won't help you see the power of choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do, and that's integrity. Word! Yeah. You know, Seamus... I still want to play with you, and I still value you very, very much. Hey. Even though you're the worst mini-golf player in the world. Hey. <laughs> all right, go ahead and tee off. Let's, let's see what you got. Come on, maybe you, you will get a hole in one right here, right? That's great. All right, your putter's backwards, you're left-handed. I didn't know that. All right, here hey. we go. Oh! We're talking about integrity. You, no, no, you've got it in you. Come on, come on. I know. Hold on one minute. Right here, where did you go? No, no. Seamus, come on. Come on, show integrity. It's still a work in progress. I'm so excited to get some time to really unpack our big idea this month. Oh, I mean, this is going to be fun. Oh, yeah, sure. But before we start, let's just repeat this month's big idea together, okay? Integrity. Integrity. Choosing to be truthful. Choosing to be truthful. In whatever you say and do. In whatever you say and do. That's right. You know, I think if you ask most people what they tell you, they feel like they're a very honest person. Oh, I am. I am a very honest person and I never tell a lie. Really? I'm glad that you said that, Tucker, because I feel like I want to address some stuff that has come up recently. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Yeah, as you know, we've been using Zoom a lot more recently, and, uh, well, you have a tendency to leave your Zoom camera on. Okay. What's your point, though? I I'll tell you what. It I'll circle back to that in a second. You know, most people feel they're very honest, but... What about when things get hard, like when you break something and you're afraid that if you tell the truth, you'll get in trouble? Like maybe a blender or if you're around friends and they're all doing something less honest and they're trying or they're pressuring you to do something, the same thing. Uh, all right. You know what? If you take this container and shook it uh, really hard, oh. what do you think would... The um, come flying out. Um, ping pong balls. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're gonna ask me these kind of questions, they're gonna be super easy, and I'm gonna make a hundred on this test because I'm a genius. Okay, sure, ping pong balls. But how come? Why don't tennis balls come flying out, or marbles, or M and M's? Um, that's because there's ping pong balls in there. Okay. Well, yes. All right. Oh, okay, JD. What? What do you? What does this have to do with our big idea? Well, because even though pretty much everyone would say they're an honest person, when no one is looking, or when they think no one is looking, it may be different. Uh, like how? Well, remember the other day when we were talking and the subject of My Little Pony uh, came up? Uh, I mean, hardly. I, I don't know. Is that even a critically acclaimed animated show? I, I mean, I personally, I wouldn't know. So. Well, you swore up and down that you had never even seen the show. And... Uh, my, my Little Pony, My Little Pony. pony. Okay, touche, but I mean, it's just so catchy. Okay, remember now, remember when you told me last week that you cut out all sugar in your diet? Uh, totally, might as well call me Diet Tucker because I'm sugar free. Right, it's just, um... I love these gummies. Oh. 
Uh, okay, so maybe I'm not totally sugar free. Okay, or remember when I let you borrow my coffee mm -hmm. cup and cup. you said that you were sure that you gave it back to me and I asked you if you were sure you didn't lose it or accidentally break it or, and you said that you were positive you gave it back. Uh, it, I mean, yeah, but. It was just a coffee cup, right? <laughs> so that's what happened with your coffee cup. Yeah, so Tucker, doesn't it seem like maybe you are struggling with your integrity a little bit? Choosing to be truthful in everything you say and do? I mean, but come on, JD. It's not like any of that stuff is a big deal. It was just small, st small stuff. But, but that's my point. That's why we have ping pong balls in this vase. Most people say they are honest, but when they're alone or they think they won't get caught or there's extra pressure, you know? Like, 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 right? So if we let these ping pong balls represent things like telling lies or gossip or cutting corners, we can see that normally people may act one way, but then they're punished. Then the truth, the truth comes out. There's a quote about integrity that I really love. Integrity is not something you show others. It's how you behave behind their back. See, most people would say they're truthful and have integrity, but when no one is watching or if they get angry or if they, they're afraid they'll get in trouble or if they're pressured by their friends, Goodness. Like, yep. yeah. JD, coming from me, I know a mess. You're making a huge mess now. Exactly. So what do we do? How do we live a life of integrity? How do we make smart decisions and choose to be truthful in whatever we say and do? Well, I'm gonna show you something. Well, we have to think, uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> we have to think about practice. We have to think about it and practice integrity every day. So that when something big comes along, we will remember how to do the right thing. Now, when we live a life filled with truthfulness, can you see it? Let's see if we can. We, we tell the truth and when we, do, when we do a good job. We also tell the truth when we mess up. When we break something, we own up to it, even if we get in trouble for it. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, that sounds nice, but the pressure to lie is still there. I mean, look at all those ping pong balls in there. Just keep watching, Tucker. When we say something we wish we could take back, we apologize. When our friends ask us to do something that, we, that doesn't feel right, we tell them we don't feel comfortable not being honest. And we're honest with ourselves. When we're feeling angry or sad or happy, we acknowledge that emotion. We also try to see things from the other person's perspective. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, all the ping pong balls are actually coming out. Because they're being replaced. When you fill yourself with good choices and honest choices instead of dishonest choices, watch what happens then there's less and less room for dishonesty over time. And eventually, when you keep making those right and honest choices, only honesty and integrity flows out of you. Oh, I mean, that's, that's awesome. So being honest, even in the little stuff, is really important, isn't it? You bet. The truth is that the character you build now will be the stuff that comes out of you in the future when you're bumped or when life gets hard. So doing the hard work and of being honest when it's easy will make being truthful when it's hard that much easier. Okay, so well, so if you do the work on building a life of integrity, are you saying you'll never struggle again with wanting to lie? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, no one is perfect. I mean, no one always completely tells the truth. No one will always follow through on their promises every single time. Everyone struggles with their choices, but we do all have a choice to either tell the truth or tell a lie. 
And when you build a life of integrity, even if you do end up not following through, it's easier for you to come clean about it. There's a phrase I love. When you mess up, you fess up. <laughs> if someone were to bump into you today, what would come out? Integrity or a whole bunch of ping pong balls? One choice doesn't have to define you, but a series of decisions can shape your future. The smart decision is usually not the easy thing to do, but the more you tell the truth, the more you choose to make the right choice, the more you maximize your potential. That's living with integrity. It's choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. So how can you live that out today? Well, let's ask our question of the day. Why is it important for people to trust you? And that's a really good question. And I have to admit, I wish I would come clean. I wish I would have came clean earlier, even if it was only small stuff. But I definitely want to find my answers to this question. That's great. You know, that's a question that can drive you to make the hard choice and go do the hard work of living with integrity. I'm proud of you, Tucker. I'm proud of me too, JD. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Lawson, and hold it. Lawson? Lawson? Lawson! <laughs> hey, sorry about that. I just had to save a puppy from being hit by an oncoming Mack truck. Okay, um, truth is, uh, <laughs> I was about to lose a bid on this really cool archery set from eBid. Sorry. You know what, I think I need today's story too, actually. Uh, but anyways, I heard it from this kid, Elijah, who's in my cousin Noah's martial arts class. Now, Elijah's been training for a couple years. A little jujitsu, a little taekwondo, a little kung pao, chika! Okay, I did not stretch this morning, folks. Now, Elijah's about to test for a green belt, but what he really wants is to be friends with the two coolest kids in the dojo. Rhett and Quinn. Everyone wants to hang out with these guys. And Elijah's been trying to get their attention by cheering them on. Kick, strike, win, woohoo! And by bringing snacks to share, like tons of snacks. And then on a tournament day, Rhett and Quinn actually invite Elijah to sit with them during lunch. And Elijah's like, yes! He's so excited, he's over the moon. And Elijah's determined to fit in with Rhett and Quinn. When they sit, he sits. When they take a bite, he takes a bite. And when they laugh, Elijah laughs. <laughs> but then, Rhett and Quinn start talking about this new kid, Jed who's never done martial arts before. Red says, he's pathetic. Quinn adds, he can't tell a block from a strike. And Red points out, he doesn't spar, he wiggles. Jed gets all red, like he's trying not to cry. And Elijah feels terrible for him. But then, Red and Quinn look at Elijah to see if he's laughing too. Elijah's so tempted to laugh too, so they'll think he's cool. He tries to think of something funny he could say about Jed. I don't know, maybe like, Jed looks like my great aunt Lucy trying to water ski. Rhett and Quinn are still waiting. So Elijah finally takes a deep breath and he says, don't make fun of Jed, he just started training. Rhett and Quinn roll their eyes, but then Elijah just picks up his lunch. Then he just goes over to Jed and he says, hey, sit with me for lunch. Then Jed and Elijah enjoy lunch together and practice some more Kung Pao chicken. Whoopa! Whoopa! So kids, never take your great aunt water skiing, but do always remember that integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Ooh!
Hey mom, do you think I'd be any good at martial arts? You want the truth? I can't handle the truth. You know what? Maybe not. Okay. Anyways, you, I am gonna go stretch, you guys. I will see you next time. Oh, still no. Ow. So before we wrap up today, we once again want to hear from you. Even though we aren't with you in person, we'd love to, to know how you feel about this month's Big Idea. Why is it important that people trust you? Tucker and Zach didn't do the best job of being trustworthy, being a trustworthy friend in those clips we saw of him on Zoom when you know he thought no one was looking. But in the end, he fessed up and he told the truth. So what do you think? The words truth and the words trust share three letters, but they share more than that. Talk to your classmates and teachers about how you think trust and truth are related. Do that right now. Online classes are kind of weird for me, for my friends, and even for the teachers. When we decided that I would be taking the virtual geography class, mom got me a new laptop and a cool desk for my room. With online classes, you have to do a lot more on your own. And we figured out you couldn't really talk to people the same. It was all a big change. Like the other day, when Mrs. Vick sent us the test, we had to match the states with their capitals. As soon as we all looked at the test, we knew something was wrong. She had sent us the answer key with the test. We were supposed to finish it in five minutes. There was a timer and Mrs. Vic could see all of our faces. I could see Sonia's face. She knew. And well, I'm pretty sure she knew that I knew. And then we could both see Mac. He was looking in a way we all understood. But without talking, we all could see what we had to do. It was the right thing. Me and Mac and Sonia all chimed in and told Mrs. Vic it didn't look right and that she had sent us the answers. And then she thanked us for showing honesty and said that it was vital for any online class or any other class for that matter. We all started laughing a little. It turned out to be pretty funny for all of us. I think you learned some important stuff today, Tucker. Yes, and don't go on a diet with tempting treats like fruit gummies laying around. It no, I mean oh. about integrity and telling the truth in what you say and do. Oh yeah, that too. And to mute my Zoom camera when I'm singing my favorite tunes. My little pony, my little no, not that one. Okay, all right, see you all next month. See you guys. <laughs>
Maybe you wanted it, but you didn't take it. Maybe you promised and then you didn't break it. Maybe you let the words so you didn't fake it. And now everybody knows. But if instead you betrayed a head, keeping your promises. If you move too far to the side, then you're gonna get stuck. It might feel like a little lie, but it's gonna catch up. Do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up. Said you're on your way up, you'll be living straight up. If you move too far to the side, then you're gonna get stuck. Might feel like a little lie, but it's gonna catch up. Do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up. Said you're on your way up. You can choose to be true, not just to everybody else, but true to you. You can choose to be true. Just to everybody else, but true to you, true to you.